All right, and we're back. I'm just, um, yeah, we can make this a little higher. That's good. Reasonably higher, it's fine. It's all good in the hood. All right, so we're in this spooky caves now. What? Is this where I walked in? I just go in a circle. I did, didn't I? Oh, what the hell? No, you changed the music back. Stop it. Yeah, you better stop. So where the fuck do I go? What's with all these paint cans? Looks like someone tried to survive for a little while. So what, there's nothing in here? Am I supposed to go to the ship? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to stay floating here. It's that's cool with you. What the hell? God damn. Where am I supposed to go? Ah, come back. Not that way, apparently. Maybe over here? It's feasible, I think. I like how there's just random caves you can't really go and do anything in. Yeah, I guess it's this way. Alright. As long as he talks, it's the right way. Doesn't this have like a drop-off or something? Or maybe I, maybe I don't I've know. I've become there we go. I'm not alone here. Even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candles. Or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. Most likely. You psychologically shipwrecked, so it's not that surprising that you um, did random shit. Not that surprising at all. Alright, we have two pathways. And Stonehenge, apparently. So I'm going to go this way first. It's probably a nice little drop off here we can look at. Hello. Ah, yes. Pretty. That's lovely. I like how everything turns as I'm looking at it. <laughs> That's old school shit. They still use it in like Skyrim though, which is retarded. I mean, it's Skyrim. It shouldn't shouldn't have fucking turning leaves. That is the oldest trick in the book, though. It's funny.
Jump off. Whee! Oh, hello. For Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between <coughs> Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. What? What the fuck is going on here? He's trying to find some caves, that's pretty evident, but... Exactly, what the fuck is he talking about? Okay, Bristol, where is that? I mean, it sounds English, so I suppose... Englishton? England or some shit? I don't know, somebody. Somebody will know. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. That's a wheel. Why is there a wheel down here? Steering wheel, but you know, still a wheel. It's just gasoline tankers and more gasoline tankers. Well, I guess this is a. Look at these, all these connexes. I hope there's like a gun in here or something. <laughs> Not that there would need to be, because this is a non violent game, but. Damn, people got fucked up here, huh? Like... Where are, like, the dead bodies and there shit? There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Hmm. Okay, that way looks like it leads to nothing, so I'm going to go this way. What is this? A weird looking anchor thing? Does that lead to something? Fuck. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way first. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. Huh. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Oh. So... She died? What does that make him, crazy? Stop lagging. Why are you lagging? There's no, feasi there's no feasible reason to lag her. Oh my god. Stop it. Okay, there it goes. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? Let me just try. All right. Oh, fuck you. I've begun to climb, away from the sea and towards the center. Uh -huh. It is a straight line to the summit, where the evening begins to coil around the aerial and How the fuck is this a straight line? Silence. The Bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. The gaze? Oh, the gaze. The gaze. The island like an animal <laughs> and approach it from the northern shore. Ew. Ew. What was that, a zombie? Jesus Christ. I like visual novels. It's very calming.
The Boffy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jakobsen from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Oh, poor him. When the oil lamps ran out, I didn't pick up a torch, but used the moonlight to read by. When I've pulled the last shreds of sense from it, I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs and perhaps myself with it. What the maybe, fuck? Maybe, 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 maybe.